Hello, everyone. I decided to focus on Facebook advertising, and I will outline some trends, but not only, not only trends, I will also give you some recommendations uh, in order to improve your social media marketing. So there are four trends, but the one that is more, most important, in my opinion, is that social media advertising platforms are getting more and more complex. So one can say it's complicated, but of course it's not complicated in terms of relationship status. It's more complicated in terms of the, all the options you can choose from and all the possibilities you can find there. So whenever you see an article or a title, because there are some, saying that actually it's the end of the digital marketing expert era, as if there was ever an era like this, or uh, another version of this saying that there is a, just a one-button solution, meaning that you just need to click promote post, post or whatever, and that, will, uh, do the, that the system will do the rest and will optimize for you, is basically not true. Let me give you an example. For example, on Facebook, there are 14 advertising objectives, and you need to choose the right one for you. There are different campaigns, and different objectives are correct in, in uh, all the different situations. So I said there are 14 objectives, so how come there are only 11 here on the list? Three are basically hidden, so you need to know which one to click to see the rest. And then, if you want to create a campaign, to launch a campaign where a user clicks an ad and then starts a conversation with your company on Messenger, which one would you choose? I think it's, we only have 20 minutes, so there is no time to uh, start guessing, but it's not an easy guess. In this, uh, in this uh, campaign, you should choose an objective called traffic. So the name is not obvious, it's not clear which one is the one that is right for you. And it's just an example. Then you have hundreds of thousands of targeting uh, options. You have more than a dozen advert formats. You have a number of optimization and delivery options. So uh, if uh, Facebook and social media advertising would be that easy, then uh, Facebook itself will not come up with an official certification program. This is Facebook Blueprint certification program. And it's interesting, uh, the, it, the program is an interesting story by itself, because you may think that uh, probably you just need to do some e-learning courses and then you will be awarded a badge like this automatically. It's not true. You have to arrange an exam, uh, you have to set the date, you have to pay for it, it's a two-level exam. Then there is someone watching you all the time. So you are sitting in front of your computer, but there is a camera and someone is watching you, not from Facebook, from a company, they are paying for the exams. They are outsourcing, outsourcing the process. So then, uh, when you want to pass the exam, you have to be alone in your room. Uh, if someone passes behind you, you failed. Uh, there cannot be anyone uh, passing by. If you try to check something on the internet, you failed, because you cannot turn any other program during your exam. If you want to start the exam, you need to turn out your pockets from your trousers, you need to show your forearms, leave your camera, uh, leave your phone, leave your watch, and then you have an hour and a half to answer all the questions. Uh, after you passed one, you also need to pass the second uh, stage. So, it is kind of complex. It's not that everyone should try to get this badge because it's only for people who are uh, professionally uh, consulting and doing some support for, for the companies. But it does mean that it's no, there is no one button uh, solution for everyone. So, you do need to learn a bit more. You, you should rather stop clicking promote post button or you know, on your Facebook page, if you did, because uh, on the one hand, Facebook will, will uh, encourage you to do so. So if you publish anything on your page, then it's highly likely you will see this encouragement uh, saying that this post is performing better than 90% of uh, other posts on your page. The funny thing is that you get these messages almost always. So the question is, where are all those 90% other posts and who is publishing them? Uh, and why are they so poor? But then uh, the same uh, documents, but a little bit more advanced, also from Facebook, say that actually 
bidding for engagement and clicks, so clicking promote post, is the most expensive options of all. So uh, they also say uh, that you should not do this in a different place, in a different document. Because when you optimize for clicks and uh, when you optimize for um, engagement, clicking promote post, then you are trying to get to those 10% uh, most clicky people on Facebook and they are the most expensive. So uh, that's why you should choose the other objectives and you need to know which objectives uh, are going to substitute the, the normal one, the most simple one. And another recommendation from me is, uh, is to resist temptation to outsource everything. Because as uh, the system is quite complex, you may think, okay, so then I will find a company who specializes in Facebook advertising and they will do the job. And remember, I do run a social media agency and I still think you should not outsource all your marketing, Facebook marketing activities. Because then if you do, uh, uh -huh. Of course, on the internet, when you search, you, are, you can always get encouragement to do outsource it. But for me, it's not a good idea because it's just too important. So, of course, you should find someone, a company or a freelancer, and then cooperate. But you should not outsource everything. It's too important for your customer acquisition uh, process. It's too important for uh, your relations with your target group. Uh, getting rid of everything and uh, relying on someone else is, is, is too risky. So if you do want to learn, you could uh, start with this uh, platform I mentioned. So Blueprint uh, certificates, that's one thing, but also you can find some e-learning courses there and, uh, and uh, you can start from this one. You could also search for a Facebook group, Facebook for CEE, which is uh, an official Facebook group on Facebook. Uh, it's, it's Central and Eastern Europe, but it's also relevant for all uh, uh, the other regions. And of course, you can like our Facebook page. We will keep you up to date. Then, secondly, if you uh, do want to get into details and uh, know some more mechanisms, then uh, you start to understand that Facebook is trying to make a user stay a bit longer on the platform. And Facebook is trying to make you, an advertiser, uh, more likely to maybe not get rid of your website, but uh, to focus on Facebook marketing and do not redirect a person somewhere else. So one could say that, in other words, Facebook is, try is trying to eat up the internet. Yes, of course, there are some tools for uh, website owners, like, for example, uh, Facebook Pixel that will help you with targeting, or audience network that would make it possible to earn some money from your website using Facebook ads. But uh, there, are, there are many more tools that would actually uh, not replace, but uh, change the focus of your marketing ad uh, activities from a website to Facebook itself, like lead adverts. For example, when you uh, wanted to collect leads in old days, then you uh, created a form on your website and redirected a person there. Now you create an ad on Facebook and someone clicks an ad and uh, can provide you uh, he, his or her uh, mobile phone number and email, or canvas adverts. When you see a screen like this, is it a website or are we still on Facebook? Or this one, same one but a bit lower. This is actually still on Facebook, even though it looks as if it was a website. So Facebook is creating some tools called Canva ads that uh, before click looks like this and after click are very similar to, to a company's website. So maybe it will not make your website irrelevant, but it's a, a strong competitor of your website because you can create it for free. It will uh, launch uh, automatically and quickly. It will look perfect on your mobile devices. Call now adverts. So another option, when you wanted to uh, uh, call, uh, uh, if you wanted your customer to call you, in the old days you would just redirect to your website. Now you can create an advert. When a user clicks an ad, then he will uh, just see a phone number as if he dialed it himself. So, uh, of course, no one is persuaded, no one is forced to call. Someone still needs to click the, the green button.
And Messenger adverts, another way to communicate with your customers. Someone sees your advert and then is redirected to Messenger platforms. Finally, navigation. So some businesses may be willing to navigate a person to, a, uh, to their location. And then it appears that Facebook is more uh, eager to redirect a person to Google Maps than to your website, because this is what happens. Someone clicks on that and is being redirected to Google Maps, and mm, he or she can uh, be navigated to your location. Uh, audiences, when you are targeting your customers, then you can, of course, uh, target people who visited your website. Yes, that is possible, but this is not an option Facebook is developing uh, rapidly. They, what they do uh, develop rapidly is the one I, uh, I, I underlined, engagement on Facebook. And this is a possibility to create an audience consisting of people who visited your Facebook page, not your website. So another, uh, another argument that Facebook is trying to make more and more to to make your website a little bit more irrelevant. So, uh, you should benefit from this, and uh, those options are interesting depending on which industry are you working for. But on the other hand, uh, you should also diversify. You should also pay Facebook uh, for redirecting outside to your website, or, as you can see here, to another social media platform. Because why not use Facebook advertising to create your YouTube subscriber uh, uh, channel? Uh, why not to create Facebook advertising and then increase the number of YouTube subscribers? Like here, this, all those spikes on the chart are those days where we launched a Facebook advertising campaign redirecting to YouTube. You can redirect to every platform you want, except Snapchat. When you do redirect to Snapchat, Facebook will block your account. So uh, this is uh, kind of funny or surprising. Then the third trend, this is the one you're probably aware of because everyone is talking about it over and over. However, there are some details, and I always those details are the most important. So uh, yes, people are using uh, Facebook mostly on mobile, but th there, are some, there is some general data. Like, for example, in Poland, uh, <laughs> 12, there are 40 million Facebook users, and 12 million are using uh, Facebook mostly on mobile. However, it's... Uh, it's just the general data. If you want some data for your target group or for your client's target group, then it's uh, better to show them the details. So here, for example, there, are, uh, there is a tool which says that 80% of our uh, social media now, Facebook fans, are using Facebook on mobile, primarily on mobile. You can do the same for your target groups and your clients, and then it's, I think it's more convincing. So, uh, to benefit from this trend, uh, there is a number of recommendations. So, just one example. When you create an ad redirecting somewhere, it's not wise to create an ad when the only way to go to a website is to click a link. This is uh, Uber Eats advertising that recently uh, launched in Poland, and here they basically want to redirect a user and to persuade someone to download the app. However, when you click on the photo, you are not going anywhere. You are still on Facebook. So, and again, these are very small and tiny details, but they are uh, resulting in good or bad results uh, in your campaign. Or here, the same thing. You have a link and uh, the photo. Uh, of course, vertical photos are fine. Vertical photos are better for uh, mobile devices, better than, than, than horizontal. But this is an exception. In this case, it's better to use a smaller photo, especially, uh, while, uh, especially because when you use a, a horizontal photo like this, then Facebook may remind your customer on the next day that he or she visited your website. It's not possible here. It's not possible here. So uh, a small thing, but a huge difference in the results. And Messenger, uh, I mentioned it before. Now, I just want to add one thing. If people are spending more and more time on your, their mobile devices, then they may be more likely to communicate with your company through Messenger, and then 
you uh, should answer them yourself, but you can also get some help from uh, Facebook uh, bots. And we use ChatFuel as a tool that is free and it's easy to set up a Facebook bot. Mm, social media is about people, so it's not like I encourage you to uh, stop answering your customers and start using bots uh, for the whole process. But you can at least use some uh, Mm, uh, some help because normally the customers are asking questions from uh, several different patterns and then a bot will start a conversation and then a person will follow up and will give uh, the customer some details. And the last one, video first. Was, was mobile first? I think it was. So uh, they are both first. They are both uh, the most uh, important trends at the moment. Uh, video, mm, uh, it's also uh, a common knowledge that it's important. And same story, there are some details that are uh, important. Like, for example, when uh, you are starting you are starting to publish more videos, not because it's more engaging. Yes, also because it's more engaging. Uh, not because people like to watch videos. Yes, that's also the, the reason. But you, uh, mainly you start creating more videos because when you do, then you can use a Facebook advertising options. That option that will allow you to build an audience consisting of people who watch the video. So this will lower uh, the cost of your advertising campaign. The more videos you have, the bigger your audience will be, the audience of people who already watched your videos. And then you can retarget those people and have a better results than before. So uh, if you decide, yes, I do, have, uh, I, I do want to publish more videos, then here are a couple, uh, a couple of, of programs that may help, like Quick Video, Free Video Editor, which I think is the easiest uh, video editor ever, ever created, or a bit more <laughs> complex, but still uh, user-friendly uh, program, WeVideo. Or if you have completely no idea what kind of videos you should create, then why not uh, to create slideshows? Uh, slideshows are also videos, and here you can basically use a Canva uh, graphic design program, which is uh, very easy to use, and probably most of you know it. So uh, uh, yesterday, Facebook uh, launched or made some upgrades to video. Uh, so uh, two main news are that it will be easier to expand a video to a full screen and uh, that you uh, should focus on creating vertical videos instead of horizontal. And the second news is that some of the videos will automatically launch with sound. Not everyone, not every single video will, only if a user has a, a, s a mobile phone with a sound on, then a video will launch uh, automatically with sound. If uh, the sound is off, then uh, it will still remain quiet. In uh, 2014, uh, Princeton University researchers uh, wrote uh, this article saying that Facebook will lose 80% of its users by 2017. Uh, I think it's highly unlikely that it will actually happen. So uh, it's more likely that if you master all the Facebook advertising details and uh, stop just using the, the most uh, easy ideas, then that you will start to benefit from, from the platform. 